All right, so first of all, let me apologize, and I'll tell you why. I had the semi-final fight for the Ultimate Fighter and the finale for the Ultimate Fighter recorded, did the commentary, was about to edit it all together for you, and I find out that the files were corrupted. Luckily, I was able to do some movie magic and actually save most of them so that I can edit it into some highlight reels at the very least for you guys, but the whole full commentary was just lost forever, so I'm doing what I can. I, I did my best with what I had to work with. So we head into the semi-final fight. It was me versus Wilson Chang. He's representing Team Lola, but most importantly, he was representing New York. So I knew he was tough, and his stand-up was as good as mine. So I knew it was going to be a knockdown drag-out fight. I just didn't know how good of a fight it was going to be. Hurt him early with a high kick. Had him against the cage, but I couldn't capitalize. He recovered quickly and started defending like a beast. And then later on in the same round, we're having another stand-up exchange. I catch him with one of those killer right hooks, have him wobbly, but he catches me with a beautiful uppercut right here, takes me down. He has a chance to put me out, but I cover up, I work it, and get back to my feet. Glad that I'm still conscious. Still in the first round, you know what? He must have known that I got a foot fetish because he showed me his feet up close and personal. Knocked me silly. I tried to take him down. He shrugs it off. He catches me with a right hook as I come in and then a left straight knocks me down again and he had, I mean I'm stiff as a board hit I don't know why he didn't get down the ground and capitalize but he let me stand up and that was a mistake as the first round came to a close I knew I had a lot of work to do in the second round because he had to hurt me badly my bell was rung two or three times and most importantly I need to recover and regroup and get ready to end this the second round starts and I'm pushing hard I hit him with a high lift kick that rocks him my famous right hook puts him on his ass and all I need to do is jump on top and pound him out for the rest of the way they raise my hand at the end of everything, and I'm going on to the finals of the Ultimate Fighter, which means I'm fighting for a chance at a six-figure contract with the UFC. After some congratulations from Uriah's favorite Mike Dolce and Dana White himself, it's time to fight. It's me versus Jared Navarro in the finale. He's another Team GSP member, and he's also from New York, which is pretty interesting. I don't know why the game has me fighting so many people from New York, but he's the only thing standing in my way to getting a UFC contract, so I needed to knock him out. When scouting him before the fight, I saw that he was as good standing as I was, and I don't trust my chin on my stomach, so my strategy was going to be to take him down and try to pound him out just like I did to the previous guy. First round was working. See, Yves Levine was getting ready to stop it, but he weathers the storm from the full mount. I got out the first round, and I'm up one nothing. The second round starts, and I'm not sure what the hell I was thinking. I guess the moment caught up to me, and I decided to stay in the trade with him. Luckily for me, I was doing good on defense and I hit him with a couple shots an uppercut there hit him with a right hook right here it almost takes him down but but you know what this guy had an absolute granite chin and he was just taking everything I was throwing at him and eating it like candy at one point he even had me in the full mount and that's when I decided to get back on my game plan stop being an idiot took him down for the rest of the round held him there and just tried to win the round on points instead of just trying to knock him out and uh, potentially get myself knocked down in the process at this point, I knew the fight might be close on the judges' scorecards because you know how MMA scoring is and how video game scoring is. So I was going to go for the knockout, but I wasn't going to be reckless. So I start the round. I'm bobbing, weaving like it's iceberg season. Catch him with a kick and an uppercut that rocks him. But once again, this dude just eats punches like candy. He loves punishment. At one point, he even took me down, but I turned it into a full mount. I tried to pound him away, but he just wasn't having any of it. He guarded up and came out of it pretty much unscathed. The fight comes to an end. I'm free. I'm feeling pretty good about my performance, but it was in the judges' hands, and I just had to wait for the decision. The judges score cards for a decision. The judges scored this contest from 928, 3027, 2928. We're going to win by unanimous decision. And now, this season's ultimate fighter, heavyweight winner, Martinez. And there he is. This season's ultimate fight. Decision. I was so happy I didn't know what to do with myself. I was jumping up and down. I didn't care that I was jiggling everywhere. I wanted to kiss Dana. I definitely wanted to kiss Ariane. But I was a UFC fighter. I had a six-figure contract. And waiting for me was this nice little video to welcome me to the UFC. Obviously for me, being in tough was a great opportunity kind of a dream scenario for anybody. Winning that show is special. Anybody that's gone to the Ultimate Fighter knows what I'm talking about. You win the trophy, you get the six-figure contract. The more people that know you, the more people want to watch you fight. And you get a, such a direct connection with fans from being on the Ultimate Fighter. Instantly, everybody knows who you are. You know, you get more sponsors, 
you get more recognition. Now we have a, a real launching pad for talent and a lot of these guys are gonna be the superstars of the future. And we're starting to see that. After the celebrations, it was right back to work because I had Angel Juarez waiting for me at UFC 176. It was my UFC debut on a pay-per-view. Let's get right to it. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight showcase between Napalm and Big Train. UFC 176, my first UFC, the debut fight. I mean, I know we fought in front of a crowd before for the Ultimate Fighter finale, but this is the big leagues right now. That was just a test. This is an actual pay-per-view. It's not a. It's not like a UFC fight night on FX. It's not on Fox Sports 1. People paid to see this, so I'm here to put on a show. If I said I wasn't a little bit nervous, I'd be lying. I kind of just want to get it over and let's see what we can do. All right, here we go. I've been working on my movement, working on my blocking. I didn't like the result of that last fight. The guy, he used his, he used his, ooh, hit him fast. He was using his height against me fairly well. And I couldn't reach him with anything that I was throwing. What the hell? He hit me with one, one left hook and I go down automatically. This guy's going to be an issue too because he's just as tall as the last one. I'm quickly realizing that six feet tall in the heavyweight division just might not be tall enough so I think I might I'm gonna have to become a body snatcher I'm gonna have to be working the body like no other on these guys because I need to chop them down to size they're like big trees and I need to take my axe and just chop them down bring them down to the ground if I need to but mainly just work on their abs and their ribs because it's hard for me to reach their faces so if I can just I mean Joe Lewis used to say if you take out the body the head will fall that's a strategy I'm gonna implement on the rest of these fights against all these tall guys because everyone in the heavyweight division they're, they're like six foot five or above it's crazy and I'm just a little midget here at six feet tall I'm big but I'm not tall Let's see if we can work some hooks here he hurt me with that kick early on I'm hurting him back oh nice knee to the stomach give him another kick right there I wanted that head kick there actually oh he's gonna pay for that he's paying for this he's paying for that oh shit he's still moving he's still moving I think I got him need to get on top let's end it early Let's end it early. Oh, he's flipping it. He's flipping it. He flipped it on me. Damn it. I hate it when that happens. See, I think that going from the full guard to the full mount on that reversal, I think it's a little bit too easy. There's, there should be like a step in between if you're the one on the bottom. You shouldn't just be able to flip it over like that. But hey, props to him for getting out of it. Let's see if we can take it back standing. I'm beating him on the stand up. As long as I keep away from his monster left hook. Oh, my God. Speaking of. See if I can take him down again. Nope, let's get out of here. All right, let's use our movement. Let's use our movement. Back away. Back away. He's going to keep trying to throw for the head, and I'm going to keep retaliating as long as I can. There goes another one. Ooh, ooh. Those are four nice shots that he just ate like they were candy. I'm surprised he didn't go down there, to be honest with you. Damn. Can't reach him with nothing. Let's see if I can take him down. I think I have a good feeling about this. Oh, shit. All right. All right, we're good. He wants to take this fight to the ground. Good takedown defense, though. There we go. There we go. Another right hook. There goes another one. Let's see if we can throw a left. He's hurt. He's hurt again. Right hook. The big train right hook. I think I got him. I got him. Yes. Woo oh, man. I really need to work on my health, though. I need to work on my movement and my blocking because they are rocking me way too easy. He didn't even hit me with a counter punch. He just hit me with a left hook, and I got dizzy. But you know what? We weathered the storm. We came back. We put him to sleep, and we got our first UFC win. All we need to do now is sit back and watch Velasquez beat the hell out of me in the main event. And then have our delusions of grandeur facing Velasquez ourselves one day. And with the official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. Four minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner. Big train, baby. We're doing it on the big stage now. Guys, we made this together. I'm I'm so sorry that both the semifinals fight for the Ultimate Fighter and the Ultimate Fighter finale fight got corrupted like that. I had to do some dirty things to try and get those videos back so I can at least edit them into some highlights. But once again, thank you for all the support. Hopefully we'll have a longer episode and I won't lose any more fights from here on out. I planned on showing every single fight of my career 
And if it wasn't for that one corrupted file, that promise would have been kept. The important thing is that we're in the UFC. We got our first win on a pay-per-view. Velasquez looks like he just beat the hell out of Mir. And we're climbing up the heavyweight ranking. I'm Big Red and White, and I'll see you guys on the next one.